Howdy folks, let's explore the drives code. This is in the entity directory drives. This code actually probably is going to be going away soon. It's uh, rather strange to record a video on it, but I thought I'd record one on it anyway. So, what we have here is a, a macro that seems to only be used once. Most of these macros actually wouldn't appear here, yeah, but this just relates to seeking a mate. Uh, it's surprising, actually, that this isn't placed elsewhere. So, actually, that's interesting. Hmm. So the gene regulators are typically defined with where they sit aside from a bunch that are defined in universe dot h. So I guess if they're used in only one place, then the gene regulators are defined where they're used specifically. Other than that, they're defined in universe.h. Interesting. Well, you find something new every day. So, let's look at the hunger drive. There are four drives. There is the hunger, the sociability, the sex drive, and the fatigue drive. And they're all put together in the cycle. Let's explore each drive, drive by drive. Let's start with the hunger drive. So the hunger drive indicates if the energy level is less than being hungry, and here we have dead, <laughs> hungry, and full, which is three times hungry. This has been the case from the start of the simulation. These are like original values, I think, quite fundamentally, which explains why there's not the right kind of spacing around them. So let's fix that while we're here. Um, so, if the being is obviously hungry, i.e. its energy is less than the hungry constant, then increase the hungry drive, decrease the sex drive, otherwise decrease the hungry drive. So if it's no longer hungry, decrease the hungry drive. These, uh, to have a look at what it does, is it just checks for the max in the increase case and increments up to the max. And similarly, in the decrements case, if uh, the value is greater than zero, i.e. from zero, um, well, zero is the limiting lowercase, and drives max is the limiting uppercase here, 255. Drives are, if we go back, bytes. So, so that's hungry. If it's hungry, increase the hunger drive, decrease the sex drive, otherwise decrease the hunger drive. Now we have one of these being loop cases, so let's look at sociability. So the first thing it does is it populates these values, because actually it uses a, a being loop. Uh, and what this does is for each noble ape that's populated through here, uh, and it takes this uh, beings in the vicinity, the specific being that is the, I don't know, the reference uh, being, and it goes through. So takes the delta between the being and the other. Let's go back to actually its use here. So yes. Oh, this is interesting. So this is one of the cases where the being loop couldn't be used. And I think you can probably look at this code and establish why. So what it does here is it takes... This is interesting. So it takes the eight space of ten squares and it says if it's within this delta then increase beings in the vicinity. Originally there was a line of sight calculation used here and it was just basically being overused. So rather than doing a line of sight this is an arbitrary uh, ten being ten uh, pixels on the map which translated to eight space worse the space span and then gets a distance squared from that and there's a distance squared from that, and that indicates that there's a being in the vicinity, i.e. it can hear the being, this kind of thing. So, it comes back and says, if the being in the vicinity is less than the crowding plus the social tolerance, so each of the apes has a crowding value, and we can see how that is generated. Uh, so it's got minimum crowding, and then its crowding actually changes purely through the drives, so if we go back, we should see this. 
So yes, just crowning typically expect number of neighbours. Again, this is Bob Bottrom, hence the British spelling. Uh, so if the beings in the vicinity are less than the crowding, then decrease the crowding. If the beings in the vicinity are greater than crowding, then increase the crowding. And minimum expected neighbours, so uh, that's the minimum crowding value here. One. Oh, maximum crowding is three, so they get crowded very quickly. <laughs> provided there are beings in the vicinity. And this basically so the crowding function the crowding value is used to do the increment and decrement social. So basically you've got a two floating scale thing here. You've got the crowding, which is kind of the expected crowding, which changes based on the beings in the vicinity. Uh, limited to the maximum minimum. And then this works against the beings in the vicinity associated with adding or decrementing the social, which is quite an interesting way of doing it. Let's have a look at sex drive. So, in the case of sex drive, it uses the uh, social graph and its age and days and it's episodic memory, if it's the case. So if it's past the age of maturity and it's awake, then just, hey, increase the sex drive. Uh, if the sex drive is above mate-seeking threshold and uh, there's no sex drive in the current hold, uh, goal, so gets the being tried six, if it's greater than six mating threshold, then, and that equals none, Then search for a preferred mate or mate randomly. So it goes through this episodic memory, if there's something there, we hope there's something there. And it looks for an ape that's not someone else's mate. And six a goal to remember the mate. Oh no, terrible, terrible typo. So let's fix that up. <laughs> wow. I don't know who was responsible for this, folks, but I'm assuming it was probably me. Okay. Could probably group change it, but it's actually quite interesting to see where it's used. it's quite extensively used. Okay, where were we? Still using this horrendous name. There we go. So where were we? The drives. So. Searches for the event of mating. Is this the event of mating or is this the event of finding a mate? Uh, looks like the event of mating. Okay. And if it's not someone else's mate. Do the comparison. This takes a gender name compared to gender name, family name compared to family name. Uh, it's an interesting comparison test. Uh, and if it's that, it then sets it as a goal to mate. So if they don't get the mate within a day, within a day, 
and uh, it times out. It stores in the episodic memory that it wants to find the mate. It's the episodic memory, we'll get into that probably in another video. And with that, If an attractive mate was found, then remember that event. During gestation, reduce the sex drive. So this is outside the main loop. Just saying, if the mate is pregnant, then reduce the sex drive. While sleeping, reduce the sex drive. If the sex drive falls below the mate-seeking threshold, then the being uh, then the being must stop seeking a mate. So here. Yes, the assumption is the primary goal is mating. Yep, so that just checks it. Then eliminate the primary goal from being mating. That's probably to do a cleanup there. The final drive is fatigue. So here uh, there's a fatigue speed threshold, which is fixed. It's not associated with some genetic number. So anything above that will cause fatigue. And if that's the case, then it'll increment the fatigue. Uh, and if the being is swimming, it will increment the fatigue. And fatigue increases, sex drive decreases. And similarly, uh, the fatigue drive decreases, basically, if the ape is stationary. And then you just have the updates of all of these. Uh, in the drive cycle. Which is executed here. as part of, I think, being cycle awake. With my fierce sea line, being very fierce, being cycle awake. So every cycle that the ape is awake, the drives are altered is an interesting assumption. I think there was an assumption within the... Uh, so, okay, so stopping and sleeping in the drives remain constant. Which is strange, you'd think sleep would actually fix the fatigue drive. Hmm. Let's see when these are actually accessed. So, yes, they're all within the drives. So sleeping doesn't decrease fatigue. Mm. Something to change in the future, no doubt. Anyway, this has been a video explanation of the code of Mobile 8 associated specifically with the drives here.